The Kingdom of Mysore 1399 was founded by Yadaraya in 1399 as a feudatory of the Vijayanagara Empire and became an independent kingdom in the early 17th century, after the decline of the Vijayanagara Empire. Many musicians and composers have presumably adorned the courts of the Mysore kings from Yadaraya's time, furthering the Dakshinati school, Southern school of music that had developed in earlier centuries. However, records are only available from the time of King Ranadhira Kantirava Narasaraja Wodyar Musical treatises surviving from this time, though, provide ample information on the music, musical instruments, the types of compositions, the raga melodies, and the tala rhythms used. Though all the Mysore kings patronized music, the golden age of Carnatic music was considered to be during the reigns of kings Krishnaraja Wodyar III (1794–1868), Chamaraja Wodyar IX (1862–1894), Krishnaraja Wodyar IV (1884–1940), and Jaya Chamaraja Wodyar (1919–1974). The reign of Krishnaraja Wodyar IV is regarded as particularly important in musical terms. The instruments normally used to play compositions were the veena, the rudra veena, the violin, the tambora, the gautam, the flute, the murdangam, the nagaswaram, the swarabhat. Instruments such as the harmonium, the sitar, and the jaltarang, though uncommon to the southern region, came into use, and British influence popularized the saxophone and the piano. The royalty of this dynasty were noted composers and proficient in playing musical instruments both solo and in concert with others. The different styles of compositions included Jati Swara, Swara Jati, Varna, Kriti, Jivali a light lyric, Talana and Pallavi. It was not unusual for the composers and the kings who patronized them to be experts at instrumental music as well. So proficient were the musicians at their chosen instruments that the name of the instrument became a part of the musician's name, examples being Veena Subana and Veena Shishana, Veena or Veen as it is known in South India being their instrument. During these times, Tanjore in modern Tamil Nadu and Mysore in modern Karnataka were the centres of Carnatic music. Mysore developed a distinct school of music which gave importance to the Raga and the Bhava. Though many of the musicians in the courts were natives of the Mysore kingdom, artists from other parts of South India were also patronised. Another important development of this period was the growth of drama. These dramas, original or translated from English and Sanskrit classics, contained many melodious songs and were brought to the stage through the various drama schools established by royalty. King Krishnaraja Wodyar III This period heralded the beginning of British control over the administration of Mysore and the start of an important period in the development of vocal and instrumental Carnatic music in South India. King Krishnaraja Wodyar III was a trained musician, musicologist and composer of merit. Being a devotee of the Hindu goddess Chamundeshwari, he wrote all his compositions under the mudra pen name, Chamundi, or Chamundeshwari. He composed many philosophically themed Jivali light lyric and devotional songs in the Kannada language under the title Anubhava Pancharatna. Jivali in Carnatic music have their roots in Mysore and are first mentioned in the king's writings as Javadi. His scholarship in Kannada is acclaimed and his compositions are seen as parallels to the Vachana poems of the Virashaiva poets and to the devotional songs Pada of the Haridasas of Karnataka. Mysore Sadashiva Rao was born in Greenspet in the Chittor district of modern Andhra Pradesh to a Maharashtrian family. He came to Mysore between 1825 and 1835 and served as a court musician to the incumbent king for nearly 50 years. His compositions are said to have been in the hundreds, though only about 100, written in Sanskrit and Telugu under the pen name, Sadashiva, still exist. He is known as the reviver of Carnatic music in the Karnataka region. Veena Venkatasubhya came from a Mysorean family of famous Veena artists or Vinika of the time of King Haider Ali and belonged to the Badaganadu community. He was appointed music teacher to King Krishnaraja Wodyar III by his minister or Dewan. Purnia, who wanted to make Mysore the cultural centre of South India just as Vijayanagara had been during the rule of the Vijayanagara Empire. His most famous composition is the Sapta Talishwarijit. Some historians claim the work was a combined effort by the king and the musician. 
The king's son-in-law, Aliya Lingraj Ors, was an authority and composer in both the Kannada and Sanskrit languages. A native of Hegadadavanakote in modern Mysore district, he had several interests in the fine arts. He has over 50 works including compositions, dramas, and yakshagana to his credit, all of which were written with a pen name beginning with Linga, such as Lingendra or Lingaraja. His most famous compositions in Kannada are titled Chandravali Jogi Hadu, Pancha Vimshati Lili, and Amba Kirtana, and in Sanskrit the Shringara Lahari. Shunti Venkataramanaya was a musician from Tiruvayur modern Tamil Nadu and an expert at playing the tambora. He was introduced to the king by the court musician Veena Venkatasubhya under unusual circumstances. When Venkataramanaya first met Veena Venkatasubhya, the latter asked him to sing a particular tune. Unable to sing it, Venkataramanaya walked away, only to return a year later having mastered the tune. While singing the tune, Venkataramanaya went into a trance and the court musician hurried to the palace and requested the king to be audience to the singer. The king arrived there and was so pleased with Venkatamania's voice he appointed him as a court musician. Venkatamania's most famous composition is the Lakshana Jeet. Chinya was the eldest son of a family known as the Tanjore Quartet, a quartet of brothers who were singers and composers. Before his arrival in Mysore, Chinya served at the court of the Tanjore kings Saraboji II and Shivaji II. He had learnt music from Mutuswami Dikshatar. At the court of the king of Mysore, Chinya created several compositions in praise of his patron king and the local deity Chamundeshwari. Famous among these compositions are Ninu Koryuna, Vanajalochana, Navanti, Chakani na Mohanaguni, Manavagai Konarada, and several Javali. Veena Chika Lakshminaranapa, an expert Vainika, was a descendant of Krishnapa, a Mysore court musician during the time of Betata Chamaraja Wodyar in the 16th century. Chika Lakshminaranapa became the chief musician in the Prasanna Krishnaswami temple located within the palace premises. His two sons Krishnapa and Sinapa, who were later patronized by the kings of Mysore, were also proficient players of the veena and violin. Well-known visiting musicians to the court during this time included Pallavi Gopalayar, Veena Kuppayar, Tiruvatiyar Thayagayar, Veena Krishnaya and Suryaparada Ananda Dasaru. <laughs> King Chamaraja Wodyar IX King Chamaraja Wodyar IX was also a patron of the fine arts and literature, having been tutored by his own court musicians Veena Shishana and Veena Subana. The king was well versed in the violin and often participated, along with other musicians, in violin performances at the Krishna temple located in the palace premises. He is known to have helped many budding artists, both by patronage of their talent and in their personal difficulties. He sponsored Mysore Vasudevacharya who later became a famous musician to train at Tiruvayur under the famous Patnam Subramanya Iyer. He also formed the Amateur Drama Club to encourage young artists. However, he died at the early age of 32 while traveling in Kolkata. Veena Shamana was the son of Rama Bhagavatar, an immigrant from Tanjore who came to Mysore during a famine, seeking royal patronage. His birth name was Venkata Subramanya. In 1876, Veena Shimano was appointed court musician for his talent in both vocal and instrumental classical music. He was known as Tala Brahma for his mastery of the Veena, violin, gata and swarabhat. A conservative artist, he played by the norms of theorical classical music and was a tutor to the royal family. In honor of his achievements, a street in Mysore city was named after him. His compositions were published by his son Veena Subramanya Iyer in a book called Sangeeta Samayasara in 1915. Veena Padmanabhya, a native of Sriramapura, also known as Budahalu in Chikanayakanahali Talak, Karnataka, was trained in classical vocal and Veena in his early days by a disciple of Veena Shamana. Later, under the guidance of Veena Shamana, Padmanabhya's expertise grew. An incident at the king's palace during his youth made him popular and impressed the king. A well-known musician called Veena Sambaya made a mistake in interpreting a shloka in the musical treatise Sangeeta Ratnakara. Padmanabhya immediately pointed out this error, much to the discomfort of Sambaya, while the rest of the musicians dared not to, out of fear of incurring the senior musician's wrath. Years later, pleased by his talent, the king appointed him to the court and bestowed upon him the title, Mahatapi Kilat. 
Padmanabhiya also served in the same capacity under the next king, Chamaraja Wodyar IX. He was a music teacher at the Mysore Maharani's High School, at the Maharaja's Sanskrit School, and he also tutored the royal family. He wrote many compositions in Sanskrit, Telugu and Kannada under the pen name, Padmanabha. Veena Shishana, considered one of the greatest exponents of the Veena in India, was born in Mysore in 1852 to Bakshi Chikaramapa, a court musician of King Krishnaraja Wodyar III. Once a visiting musician sang a composition Pallavi and challenged the musicians in the king's court to follow. While none of the senior musicians could sing that composition, Shishana, who was still a boy, sang it correctly. Impressed, the king gave the boy a chain of pearls he was wearing and a pair of shawls. It was during the rule of King Chamaraja Wodyar IX in 1882 that Shishana was appointed court musician. His achievements in classical music won Mysore a premier place in the art of playing the veena and he was given the title, Vinika Shikamani, by King Krishnaraja Wodyar IV. Veena Shishana won laurels and titles from kings and dignitaries including the kings of Travancore, Baroda and Tanjore. He played the Veena at the Indian National Congress in Belagavi in 1924 to an audience comprising such leaders as Mahatma Gandhi, Pandit Nehru and others and received the title, Vinika Chakravarti. A photograph of Veena Shishana was taken by King George V to be placed in the art gallery at Buckingham Palace. Shishana was proficient at other instruments, including the violin, swarabhat, rudravina, jaladarang and even the piano, in which he is known to have composed in English. His compositions are largely in Telugu and Kannada, though he also occasionally composed in Hindi. Mysore Karagiri Rao was the son of Lakshmi Narasimacharya, who hailed from Tumkur and was a Sanskrit pandit in the court of King Krishnaraja Wodyar III. Karagiri Rao learnt music secretly because his family was against that profession. He later travelled, performing in many places before returning to Mysore at the age of 50 when he was appointed court musician by King Chamaraja Wodyar IX. He was given the title, Sangeeta Vidya Kantirava, by senior musicians of the day and Ganakara Durandhara Sangeeta Bhushana, by the king himself. He is credited with writing several Carnatic compositions and more than 200 Devaranama devotional songs. Veena Subana was born in 1861 in Mysore into a wealthy family of musicians to which he was the only heir. He studied with Prince Chamaraja Wodyar IX at the Royal School and was well versed in the English language. He was trained in Carnatic vocal music by Mysore Sadashiva Rao and in instrumental music by his father Dada Shishana who was also a famous musician. Veena Subana was appointed court musician in 1888 and was a contemporary of the legendary Veena Shishana, with whom he was paired in many concerts. A generous man known for his philanthropic deeds, he has many compositions to his credit and earned such titles as Vinika Praveena, Vinika Vara Chudamani, and Vinika Kesari. Mysore Vasudevacharya was a musician and composer born on 28 May 1865 in Mysore. He holds the unique distinction of having been patronized by four generations of Mysore kings and of having been court musician to three. He received royal patronage from the age of five owing to his talent. During his time in Sanskrit school, he learned to play the veena from ace musician Veena Padmanabhiya. Later, King Krishnaraja Wodyar IV sponsored him to learn music at Tiruvayur under Patnam Subramania Iyer. A master of both Carnatic and Hindustani raga, he delivered the opening Sanskrit shloka devotional songs at the Indian National Congress Convention at Belagavi in 1924. He represented Mysore in the Akila Bharatiya Sangeeta Parishat concert held in Gwalior. He earned laurels and titles from kings and dignitaries from all over India, including the Sangeeta Shastra Ratna and Sangeeta Shastra Visharada. Numerous compositions in Sanskrit and Telugu are credited to him, as well as one song in Kannada called Karunasu under the pen name, Vasudeva. Bidaram Krishnapa was a Konkani Brahmin and a native of Nandalike in modern Udupi district, Karnataka. When he was a boy he had a chance encounter with a rich businessman who loved music. This happened when hungry Krishnapa, who came from a poor family, was singing a devotional song Devaranama in a local temple. Impressed with his voice, the merchant sponsored Krishnapa to train under the guidance of a musician called Ramaswamy. He later came under the influence of Tamaya and Veena Shishana. Bidaram Krishnapa is credited with having popularized the singing of Kannada Devaranama on stage. 
He adapted certain concepts of Hindustani music into his Carnatic compositions. For his scholarship in music, he earned the titles, Shuddha Swaracharya, Pallavi Krishnapa, and Gana Visharada. One of his disciples, T. Chaudhaya, went on to become a music legend. Krishnapa was most famous for writing and rendering Dvaranama and Kirtans. Among other well-known composers of the time, Tirupanandal Patabramaya from Kumbakonam was well known for his Jivali, with more than 50 to his credit written mostly in Kannada and Telugu under the pen name of Talavana. Sosail Aya Shastri was a native of Sosail in modern Mysore district. His father Garalapuri Shastri was a leading Sanskrit scholar in the court of King Krishnaraja Wodyar III, and had later served as teacher to Chamaraja Wodyar. While not a musician, Garalapuri Shastri had close associations with many musicians, and is believed to have helped Ali Alingarahe Ors with his composition Shringara Lahari in Raga Nilambari. Garalapuri Shastri's ancestors had been ministers in Anagandi Province modern Kapil district, Karnataka. Aya Shastri, too, served as a Kannada and Sanskrit teacher to the royal family. He was also noted for his musical and painting abilities and was given the titles Maha Vidwan in 1905 and Kavi Talaka in 1912 by King Krishnaraja Wodyar IV. Among his well-known dramas in Kannada are Karnataka Vikramorvashaya Natakam, Karnataka Ramayana Natakam, Karnataka Nala Charitre and Karnataka Pratapa Simha Nataka with numerous melodious songs in them. Aya Shastri also authored the well-known composition Swami Devane Loka Palane, which was widely used as a school prayer. In the late 19th-early 20th century, Jayarayacharya composed Kalyana Gitavali containing more than 50 devotional songs to be sung in the king's court and at festivals, and prayers by women. The dramatist Giribhadara Tamaya wrote the well-known works Gaya Charitre, Draupadi Swayamvara, Nidhi Chudamani, Virata Parva and Sudanva Charitre under the pen name, Tamaya. Nanjangud Subha Shastri was a native of Nanjangud near Mysore. Apart from composing about 35 songs, he wrote musical dramas in Kannada and Sanskrit including Marichakadika and Malavikagnamitra. Chandrashakara Shastri composed Jivali in Kannada and Telugu under the pen name, Balashandra. Visiting musicians were Pallavi Sheshayar, Maha Vaidyanatha Iyer and Patnam Subramanyam Iyer. Topic. King Krishnaraja Wodyar IV This period, as during the time of the predecessor king, was an important era of music in Mysore, especially for Kannada compositions. The king himself was educated in Kannada, English, Sanskrit, the sciences and was knowledgeable in Tamil and Urdu as well. He was well versed in playing musical instruments including the veena, violin, murdangam, nagaswara, sitar, and harmonium as well as western instruments such as the saxophone and piano. He encouraged his musicians to compose in the Carnatic, Hindustani and western styles. During this period, Veena Subramanya Iyer wrote an important treatise on music in Kannada, dealing with both its theoretical and practical aspects, called Sangeeta Samayasara which was published in 1915. A very influential musician, academic and composer of this period was Harakeshanalar Drive El Muthia Bhagavatar. A native of Tirunavali in modern Tamil Nadu, he was a scholar in Sanskrit and was trained in music by Samabhasiva Iyer in Tiruvayur. He was appointed court musician at Mysore in 1927 and was honoured by kings and notables alike. He was given the title, Gayaka Shikamani, by his patron King Krishnaraja Wodyar IV. To this famous musician are credited 108 Chamundaswari Kritis in Kannada, 108 Shivashtatara compositions in Sanskrit, an important treatise on music in Tamil called the Sangeeta Kalpadramam, and a biography in Sanskrit on the life, achievements and contributions of Tyagaraja to Carnatic music called Srimat Tyagaraja Vijaya. He wrote a total of over 400 compositions in all, in Sanskrit, Kannada, Telugu and Tamil under the pen name Harakisha and started the Tyagaraja Sangeeta Vidyalaya Tyagaraja School of Music in 1920. For his accomplishments, he was given the title of Sangeeta Kalanidhi by the Madras Music Academy and received an honorary Doctor of Letters degree from the University of Travancore. 
Muthia Bhagavatar died in Mysore in 1945 and is considered one of the most important composers of the post Tyagaraja period. Veena Shivaramaya was the son of the Mysore musician Veena Padmanabhiya of Chikanayakanahali Taluk, Karnataka. Shivaramaya learnt to play the Veena from his father and later from Mysore Karagiri Rao and Mysore Vasudevacharya and was appointed court musician in 1900 by King Krishnaraja Wodyar IV. His 100 Carnatic compositions are in Telugu, Kannada and Sanskrit, while his Western musical compositions are in English. King Jayachamaraja Wodyar gave him the title, Vainika Pravina, in 1941. Shivaramaya was also a Kannada writer and co-authored works with such well-known Kannada scholars as Devatama Joyce, Anavati Rama Rao and Krishna Shastri. Veena Venkatagiriyappa, a native of in modern Mysore district, and a student of Veena Shishana, became a court musician under unusual circumstances. At the end of the very first concert that Venkatagiriyappa gave in the king's presence, the king merely gave him a gift of two Indian rupees and left the concert. The musician and his family were disappointed at the king's response. Later the king learnt from one of his attendants that the musician and his family had taken the gift graciously. The king, who had been testing the musician's attitude to music, was pleased and appointed Venkatagiriyappa court musician. Over the years, the king gave Venkatagiriyappa more responsibility in the functioning of various schools of fine arts in his kingdom. Venkatagiriyappa played the veena for 15 minutes in a well-known documentary movie called Musical Instruments of India, in 1935. He was given the title, Vainika Pravina. His compositions are in Kannada, Telugu and Sanskrit, and he is credited with having created a new kind of Carnatic composition called Nagma, which resemble the ghats of Hindustani music. Balakavadi Srinivasa Iyengar, whose birth name was Kupaswami Iyengar, was a native of Srijorapura near Shivaganga in modern Tumkur district. He came to Mysore in 1912 and was trained in music by Bakshi Subana, a musician in the court of King Krishnaraja Wodyar IV. Srinivasa Iyengar was later appointed a court musician. He was an expert in the Gotuvadiya and the violin. He was given the title, Mysurina Madurei Pushpavanam, by the famous vocalist Subramanya Iyer. Srinivasa Iyengar was a noted dramatist and acted in such well-known dramas as Babruvahana, Rama Patabashika, Veera Simha Charitre, Abhinana Shakuntala, Virata Charitre, and Sudanva Charitre. Unfortunately, very few of his compositions, which written under the pen name, Srinivasa, are available today. It was Srinivasa Iyengar who popularized Purandara Das's Kannada song Jagadadarana by composing its notation. Chika Rama Rao, a native of Karuti in modern Kolar district was trained under Mysore Karagiri Rao. He was proficient in both the Kannada and Sanskrit languages, and among musical instruments, in the Veena, Glass Tarang and Jalatarang. He gained expertise in Western music as well. He is known to have had the gift of playing the Veena while singing in a melodious voice. His talent was noticed by the Raj Mata, Queen Mother, who brought this to the attention of the king. After listening to him perform, the king appointed him court musician in 1914. Along with Srinivasa Iyengar, Chika Rama Rao acted in many dramas of the day and was honored by King Krishnaraja Wodyar IV with the title, Sangeeta Ratna, literally, Gem of Music, and Pandit, by Hindustani music aces Abdul Karim Khan and Bhaskara Bhuva. To his credit are many compositions in Kannada, Sanskrit and Telugu, T. Chaudhaya, a towering personality in the field of Carnatic music, was born on 1 January 1894 in Tirumakudalu Narasipura or T. Narasipura, near Mysore. At the age of seven, he received training from Pakana and later under T. Subana. At the age of 16, he was tutored by Bidaram Krishnapa for 18 years at the end of which Chaudhaya emerged as an accomplished violinist. The ambidextrous Chaudhaya is known to have played music with all the famous musicians of his day. In 1939, he was appointed court musician by King Krishnaraja Wodyar IV and received such titles as Sangeeta Ratna, Sangeeta Kalanidhi, and Ganakala Sindhu. He is credited with many compositions in Kannada, Telugu and Sanskrit under the pen name Trimakuta, the Sanskrit name for his hometown. Dr. B. Devadrapa, a native of Ayanur in Shivamaga district, was well versed in playing the veena, violin, jaladarang and dalruba. He was a student of the famous Veena Shishana and also of Bidaram Krishnapa. He was proficient at the harmonium, flute, gautam and sitar. 
He was appointed as a Jalatarang player in the court of King Krishnaraja Wodyar IV and served the palace orchestra as a vocalist and violinist. The titles, Gana Visharada and Sangeeta Kalaratna were bestowed upon him by the king. Later, in 1972, an honorary doctorate was awarded to him. Other famous musicians in the court were Gotuvadiyam Narayana Iyengar of Tirunavelli Tamil Nadu, Tiruvayur Subramanya Iyer, and Anavati Rama Rao of Anavati in Shivamaga district who was a scholar, poet and dramatist. The credit of translating many of Tyagaraja's compositions into Kannada goes to him. Topic: <laughs> King Jayachamaraja Wodyar King Jayachamaraja Wodyar was the last king of the Wodyar dynasty. An avid fan of music, he was well trained in classical western music and was an expert pianist. It was only during the later part of his life that he became interested in Carnatic classical music. Several compositions of the Russian composer Metner were recorded by the king and made available to the public. For his contributions, he was awarded an honorary doctorate and was made a fellow of Sangeet Natak Academy an academy of music and drama. Many important musicians were part of the king's court. Tiger Viratacharayar, a native of Kaladipet modern Tamil Nadu, moved initially to T. Narasapura where he performed music for some years. Later he moved back to Chennai where he served in various music schools. In 1916, he got an opportunity to sing in the presence of King Krishnadavaraja IV. Impressed with this musician's mastery over his art, the king gave him the title, Tiger. In 1944, Viratacharayar was appointed court musician at Mysore. He has about 80 compositions to his credit. Chenakeshavaya, a native of Natanhali in modern Mandya district was a Kannada pandit and court musician in 1944. Apart from his compositions, he wrote articles, published three volumes on Haridasa compositions, and wrote a book on music. Other well-known musicians of the time were Dr. V. Doreswami Iyengar, Veena Dorswami Iyengar, Tit Krishna Iyengar, S. N. Mariappa, a native of Sasalu village in modern Mandya district, Chintalapalli Ramachandra Rao, R. N. Dorswami, a native of Rudrapatna in modern Hassan district, and Vaidyalinga Bhagavatar. Topic. See also. Jayachamaraja Wodyar Bahadur Chamaraja Wodyar Krishnaraja Wodyar IV Kadagatharu Seshacharya Chintalapali Parampara Trust Chintalapali Ramachandra Rao Notes <laughs>